Hello everybody. Thanks again for joining me. Once again, I'm going to read a little more of the Dhammapada. Now we are on part four. Flowers. <laughs> Who shall conquer this world and the world of death with all its gods? Who shall discover the shining way of the law? You shall. Even as the man who seeks flowers finds the most beautiful, the rarest. Understand that the body is merely the foam of a wave, the shadow of a shadow. Snap the flower arrows of desire, and then, unseen, escape the king of death, and travel on. Death overtakes the man who gathers flowers, when with distracted mind and thirsty senses he searches vainly for happiness and the pleasures of the world. Death fetches him away as a flood carries off a sleeping village. Death overcomes him with, when with distracted mind and thirsty senses he gathers flowers. And he will never have his fill of the pleasures of the world. The bee gathers nectar from the flower without marring its beauty or perfume. If only humans could be so wise. So let the master settle and wander. Look to your own faults. What you have done or left undone, <clears throat> overlook the faults of others. Like a lovely flower, bright but scentless, are the fine but empty words of the man who does not mean what he says. Like a lovely flower, bright and fragrant, are the fine and truthful words of the man who means what he says. Like garlands woven from a heap of flowers, fashioned from your life as many good deeds. I love that part right there. The perfume of sandalwood, rose bay, and jas or jasmine cannot travel against the wind. But the fragrance of virtue travels against the wind as far as the ends of the world. <clears throat> How much finer is the fragrance of virtue than of sandalwood, rose bay, or of the blue lotus or jasmine? The fragrance of sandalwood or, and rose bay does not travel far, but the fragrance of virtue rises to the heavens. Desire never crosses the path of virtuous wakeful men. Their brightness sets them free. How sweetly the lotus grows in the litter of the wayside. Its pure fragrance delights the heart. Now that's a very important concept of Buddhism. How sweetly the lotus grows in the litter of the wayside. The concept of the beautiful, pure, serene lotus rising up out of trash, essentially. It rises up out of the litter of the wayside. From the refuge, refuse, the trash bin, the out of you know what is discarded rises purity. Like anyway, I could elaborate on that forever, but let's continue. Follow the awakened, and from and from among the blind the light of your wisdom will shine out purely. Yeah. Very, very valuable lessons, uh, life lessons, can be taken from this information, you know. I, I see it as a spiritual philosophy, Buddhism. I don't see it, per, I don't personally observe it as a religion. But it gives me a lot of inspiration and hope. 
and I highly recommend it's you know it's worth a read. It's only like eighty pages. I'll 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 eventually get through the whole book. But this this is ancient, timeless information. Anyway, I hope uh, some of you guys can take some benefit from me reading this. Okay, catch you next time.